Hello my creative peeps and welcome back to my channel for creative week 64. I am bringing you a bit of a marathon creative week this week. Um, I have had an insane week and I am behind on a lot of things um, in terms of YouTube and Etsy and all kinds of crap but that is still coming. Still, It's still here for you. So I filmed all this in pretty much one day, maybe two. Don't, don't, maybe two. What I'm doing here on the screen now, I got a new fountain pen from Glay Pens. I get all of my fountain pens there and they do ink samples. You can get different samples of ink to try out. It's usually enough to fill your pen about two times. Um, and they have this cool option now where you can choose to get random ones. So you pay $9 to get eight random ink samples. Um, and it just, there are tons of ink samples to choose from. It's not like, it's overwhelming. So I decided to go with that option this time around, which I thought would be fun. I also bought myself a new fountain pen. This is the Noodler's um, Ahab Flex Nib pen, I think is what it's called. That might have screwed up the name a little bit, but let me tell you about this pen. Now, some of you who know about Noodler's Ahab pens, you're gonna be laughing at me because you all already know this and I'm late to the party. But for those of you that don't know, um, the Noodler's Ahab Flex pens have a bit of a stink to them. They smell like hot flaming garbage, like when you first get them. It's disgusting. I almost puked. Um, my aunt was not happy when I shoved it under her nose for her to smell. You know when you, you smell something gross and you're like, hey, smell this, and then people do it, and then, yeah. I don't know why we feel the need to share our gross smells with other people. But, um, it's rank. Not gonna lie. Now, supposedly, that's totally normal. Um, usually people know that it goes away, you know, supposedly after time, but Leanne is not happy. It like, come, you like write with a pen for three seconds and the smell comes off on your hand and it's just, <sighs> so I'm trying to be friends with it, but it's gonna take a little while for us to get, to warm up to each other. So. Anyway, <laughs> I hope you guys are having a fantastic weekend. Um, probably pretty much your, the start of your next week by the time you get to see this, but yeah. So because I've had such a crazy week, I haven't even been using my planner. Um, I don't even remember if I told you why this week has been crazy. So let's fill you in maybe again. But so my youngest sister, graduated from high school this past week um, and her d birthday was the day after so lots of celebrating had to attend her graduation of course we were very proud of her um, and then the hotel has picked up so I have had an influx in hotel um, shifts this week and next week and for the foreseeable future since it is now the summer season but yeah so that's been crazy um i also had to go to the doctor and get some medication for something nothing serious don't worry um i'm totally like fine i just i don't like ever take medication and my heart goes out to all of you that have to on a regular basis because i it i don't like it i don't like the way it makes me feel um I, or maybe it's just that I'm sick. I also don't get sick. So maybe it's not the medication, but I'm just like super like fatigued, I guess you could say. Um, I'm tired all the time. Um, my body feels tired. My brain feels tired. Um, it is getting better, but it's been really um, interesting to try and do all the things. I'm more just frustrated with myself for not being on top of all the things. Let's be real. Um, but it'll get better. I have to be patient with myself, you know, be nice. Okay, so this, I finally got my cover. It looks way more yellow on the screen than it does in real person. In real person. Jeez, Leanne. In real life. It is more of like a tan color. It is supposed to be yellow. Like a yellow-orange, but it's not. But 
Maybe if I just hold it under the camera and look at it through the camera, it'll be the right color. My father is mowing the lawn outside, so excuse the faja as he, as he mows. He's trying to work off his dinner that I made him tonight. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> so this is me pulling out, I have all this stuff that I need to put in my journal. I have not journaled all week. I feel like I haven't done anything all week, but I've been super busy. Anyway, um, I have photos from forever ago in my journal that I need to journal about. Journal, 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 journal. Um, but yeah, I also cleaned out my wallet, which is what I'm journaling with right now. So I cleaned out my wallet. I'm all over the place. Just excuse me. Just, just hold on. Just hang on. Okay. Also changed my music. So hopefully you like that. Anyway, all over the place. I cleaned out my wallet because I changed wallets into a, back into a traveler's notebook. Um, and I'll have to show you that next week because I might have ordered something else. I went on a little bit of a spending bitch. Happens sometimes when I don't get to create, but again, tangent, cheese land. Um, so I found a bunch of things in my wallet that I was keeping in there that had some sort of value, sentimental value to me, but they weren't serving me anymore, such as my college ID. It's been two years, Leanne. I think you can safely take it out of your wallet. Um, unless I want to lie and try and get in at the movies for a discount, but let's not do that. I try to be, you know, good person. Um, and then there was like a letter from a guest in there, I think, and an old business card. So I put all those in a pocket with a library card, um, and journaled about it. It is a library card from my principal, which you may or may not know is in my Etsy shop right now. Um, you can download it. They're real scans of authentic vintage um, library cards. So some of them are blank and some of them have like the actual book names on them and writing, which is super cool. Um, and I'm gonna be using them all the time. So yeah. Then last Sunday, I helped my dad trim um, a bunch of trees up at, um, his house that he's working on. So what happens is he climbs a tree like a monkey and he's amazing. And then he attaches the rope, which I'm holding through a pulley on the truck to um, one of the branches. And then he cuts the branch off and I lower it down slowly. Um, so he took a photo of me standing on the ground and I have photos of him climbing the tree. So I wanted to journal those and I found some awesome taco stickers at Michael's. I wish I had bought more, but you know. So um, I used the cardboard piece to put these photos on the cardboard packaging because tacos, duh, are amazing. And now we're gonna have a kitty intermission. She she decided she wanted to help me, as she does often, like to help, you know. And she, I was trying to continue filming, but she was whacking the stuff around on my desk, so I just cut off a little piece of string for her, and then of course, she got a little bored with it, but why is that in slow-mo? What is happening right now? I don't know. I don't know what that was. It was kind of cool though. She's done. She she doesn't want to play anymore. So <laughs> um, anyway, I had gone through some of my um, old scraps and words that I have in my like little travel thing. <sighs> now now I'm lost for words. Really, land ten minutes in. Um, <laughs> so I'm trying to use up some of those old bits, I think is my point. So I found this Houston we have left off, um, and I just thought it was funny. So I'm putting that in there, Journal journaling on my, you know, recycled taco sticker packaging thing. Used two of my favorite washies of all time. Um, that star one, that, oh, three, that star one, that star one, and then the lacy one on the other side. 
I also pulled out these butterfly stickers. Not sure why, just put it on there because I wanted to. Um, and yeah, I forgot to clip that in there apparently, so I probably took a photo with it. Now, a lot of you had asked me to update you on my feelings about the Tombow Mono Liquid Glue, which I had bought a couple weeks ago to try out. And I don't, I don't have an update for you yet, honestly. Um, sometimes I use it and I really like it, and then sometimes I use it and I'm like, eh. So I think I just need to find the things that I like using it with. I have noticed, um, if I'm going to be gluing on paper, I have to be really careful to do like a tiny thin layer and almost like scrape it on rather than like squeeze a bunch on. I don't know if that makes any sense. Um, but I've noticed there is a fine line between too much and too little um, or else you get wrinkles. So I'm using stuff out of my hoarded journal. Please everybody round of applause. Um, <laughs> If you have no idea what I'm talking about, um, I will leave a card to my last video. I posted a flip through of this journal, which so many of you had been waiting for. Um, but I used some awesome stuff. I have these um, playing card index tabs and some Miss Moss Sassy Girl stickers. Um, I don't know if they're called Sassy Girls. Don't, don't like, that's just my own thing. But. Um, there was one with a girl who's like flexing her muscles and she's like, yeah, I'm a freaking boss. So that's what I put on the photo of me standing on the ground, lowering tree branches down. Um, yeah. And then I put a playing card tab thing on there. I used a label and yeah, it's coming. Sorry about that. Uh, camera sticker. I really was just trying to like, I don't know. I was in the flow, trying to use my stuff, trying to get all the things done, um, trying to film it all in one day. <laughs> so yeah. So in there, I oh, I'm cutting the flap off apparently. Um, oh, there's that tab. I'm gonna put the tab on the envelope instead of closing the envelope, I guess. Oh, cause I want the um, card with the turtle on it to be visible. There we go, like that. Um, that's from Ghoulie Pens. So I'm just going to tape that on there. My little swatchy things of the pen colors. None of them, I was really like, wow, but there were a few, I was like, yeah, I could use that. I'm really excited to try the sepia um, color. You can pause and read the color names if you want, but yeah. So also when I cleaned out my wallet, I found this in like an old, um, not really old, but in one of my past covers. And it's just a little palette pad thing that I made out of the Peerless watercolors now. Me and these guys aren't friends. This was actually the first time I used them and was like, man, these are good. Um, but I just, I don't know. I feel like you have to use them sparingly and like not put a lot of water on it. And then I'm like, I don't know. I'm trying to like use them cause I bought a whole like strip collection of them. But yeah, anyway, pulled that out, used it, go me calling it a win. Um, then I took out some stickers from Amy Tangerine and I put this little bus on here. This is a um, Courtney Diaz from Little Raven Inc. She's on Patreon. I've been one of her patrons for over a year, maybe two. I don't know, however long she's had it now, basically. And she started this new thing called Monster Mondays where she's giving us a quote every Monday, which I think is super cool. So this was last week's um, and I put it on like a flap printout of a letter, um, a private letter that I wrote for someone. So doing that. And, um, I don't know why I put this open light thing on there, but I wanted to use it for a long time and it just seemed like the appropriate time to do it. So did that. As you can see, I still have not bought replacements for my tiny attacher. I'm holding out, man. 
they gotta be somewhere like <laughs> somewhere um so then yeah this is a photo of a moth that died in on my desk i don't know how or what but i left it there for a couple days just to make sure it wasn't like hibernating and the poor thing was dead but it was so pretty um is that weird I don't know. anyway i ran out of c's so i cut that d i made a c because i can't but now i have a bunch of photos that i've like moved from journal to journal to journal um to use and journal about and have not gotten them into one yet and because i am trying to use this journal up um by the end of july so i can i mean by the end of june so i can start my pirate journal in july i thought it would be the perfect opportunity to journal them all of course they only took up three pages but that's okay i finally got them in there so i i'm gonna call that a win you know, while procrastinating things that you actually like need to get done now, let's do something that you never really needed to do and never really did, but today's the day you're gonna do it, right? So, I had um, gone through my label drawer and pulled out a bunch of labels. Each picture only needed a little like phrase or so to explain what it was. This one needed a more explanation, um, but the rest of them, I pretty much know what they are. Um, and don't think I'll forget <laughs> however many years down the road. So, except for maybe one of the other ones, but anyway. So I picked out labels and I put a label with each one and then I had these number stickers. So I numbered each photo. Um, doesn't really serve any functional purpose except it just makes the pages more cohesive since they're kind of random photos with not a lot else going on. And then I had also pulled out that bunch of scraps to use. So um, I'm using the scraps as like layering elements or foundations there. Um, so that's, that's good there. Um, I'm pretty, pretty happy with how it turned out. I still have some things that I need to journal, but for the most part, I caught up, I think in, um, with photos anyway in this video marathon journaling thing <laughs> so that is one good thing about these creative week videos that you guys hold me accountable for those weeks that i don't get any journaling done i get to or creativity period i get to the end of the week and i'm like oh yeah i need some content let's do something creative and it like i don't know i guess i'm just thanking you for kicking me up the pants I guess um so you better not stop watching because then then I wouldn't get any journaling done <laughs> not true but anyway I digress so still still plugging away with the photos I had um some doggy photos I had a selfie that I printed out not sure why because I really don't like it now but apparently I liked it in the moment um, I have a photo that I journaled about in another journal of another project I worked on with my dad, but um, apparently had an extra one, so that one in there. I had a quote that kind of went with a period in my life that is over, um, so I kind of reflected on that over in a good way. Um, and, uh, moving on up, up to the east side. Oh, gonna get flagged for copyright. Um, I've been doing that a lot lately. Then I have a photo of the first release I did of the Ephemera packs from my Etsy shop. More of those will be coming. Don't worry, I'm just a little behind on the release. Um, but thing, things are rolling. Don't you worry. They're coming. Coming your way. So then I have dog selfies. More dog selfies. Um, <laughs> I love this one. Her name is Pip-Pip. Um, that you can see on the floor and I'm giving her belly rubs and she's got this big smile on her face and she's like winking. It's so freaking cute. And then the one on the bottom is Lou. They're both my aunt's corgis. Um, and he has his little, that's a blue platypus that he likes to play with. It's like squeaky. Um, so yeah, just 
just some cool photos. I don't really need an explanation for these, so I just wrote pops in some bubble letters. Because obviously I I know their dogs and, and puppies. And then I felt like this page just need a little bit of doodling, so I did some lines with circles. Don't really know what they're supposed to be, but I do them sometimes. And then on the number, I just wrote the year uh, that the photo is in, because at this point, the month really doesn't matter. Um, you can kind of tell what time of year it was in by um, the stuff going on in the background. But I did write the year on there just to distinguish what was super old um, and what was more recent. I think the only one from this year was the one with the folders, but. Anywho, and then I just kind of journaled about the different things, just a few lines, you know, for each thing. Um, there are some profanities in there because it's my journal, so just ignore those. Um, if that bothers you, sorry, not sorry. Um, wow, I'm really sassy today, jeez. Um, <laughs> then I grabbed my paint pen and uh, did some stars. And I think that's it. Yeah, so I'm just going to flip through real quick um, all we accomplished in this major journaling marathon. I think it ended up being about three hours of footage or so, so or four, so please don't feel like, um, and that doesn't include writing time. So please don't feel like, oh my God, I can't journal that fast. Um, plus, you know me, I just, I just threw things together anyway. But yeah. That is it for this creative week video, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in for another crazy creative week. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I'm taking this moment to thank all of my patrons for supporting me over on Patreon and helping me continue to bring content to you guys um, for free. So I will see you next week. Subscribe if you haven't already. Bye.